Hello everyone, this is Margarita with City Gal Papatry. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share a really quick video of how I created this mini album. It is um, a design that cre I created on the Cricut Design Space. Um, I am actually going to be including a link to this uh, project in the description box below. If you have the Cricut Design Space, um, and or a Cricut machine, you would you will be able to access the link through the Cricut Design Space website. So this is just a quick look of um, how I created these little pages. And so I created these mittens. It's um, a cut file for the mittens. Oh, I guess I technically can't call it a cut file because it's just a design on the actual design space and not a separate file so i'm not able to share a separate file i can only share the link to the actual project on the design space if that makes sense um, anyway i cut several pieces of the mitten as well as a um a little tab to put on the side i'll put the measurements for this um, right on the screen and I think I have five pages in all, um, but they are five sets of the mittens. So they are um, a left and right. And then the designs, I also went made sure that when I cut them out, that I had the front design um, that I wanted dependent on the left or right mitten. <laughs> Again, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna sandwich these two pieces together um, with that little tab in between. Um, I'm going to use only one piece of double-sided tape because I don't want to have to stitch through tape or glue. Um, so I'm keeping the edges clear. As you can see on the top right, I will be stitching all around the edges of the um, inside mitten. And um, yeah, so included with the project is the mitten as well as the outline um, shape. I forget what you call that right now, but um, yeah, it's like the just a shadow mitten. And these could also be used in greeting cards. They could be um, made smaller to incorporate in a scrapbook page as a uh, element or ephemera piece. Um, these would also work well as a shaker card or a shaker element in a project. Um, you could even make little ornaments from these. I think they would they would work as that. Um, I'm hope I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I'm talking really low because it's pretty late in my house right now and everyone's sleeping. Um, but yeah, I added some eyelets to the holes so that I could add the rings later. And now I'm just lining everything up so that I'm putting my little tab in the correct place. And it's the same as all of the other pages. Now I'm going to add my opposite mitten. And this little album came together pretty quickly. I used the Echo Park uh, scrapbook collection I'm sorry the Echo Park scrapbook kit called Santa's workshop and then I'm gonna grab this poker tool and my piercing mat and I'm gonna uh, puncture holes here through all of those layers of paper my holes are probably about a quarter of an inch apart I am using my eyeball measuring method where I am just guessing um, how far apart they are. <laughs> um, but they look pretty even. I think once you add the stitching um, string or floss or whatever you decide to use, you can't really, you can't really tell. They're not going to look perfect no matter what. I mean, it is handmade um, and it sh shouldn't look perfect. It should look like it was created with love and care with your hands. I'm also making holes on the outer edge of the mitten, not just the inner um, edge. And here I'm gonna grab my piece of green floss uh, on a needle. This is a bookbinding needle, but you could use 
um, any other type of needle that will have an eye big enough for whatever string you're using. And wherever I have that little knot, that first stitch, I'm gonna make sure that I put an embellishment or sticker or something over it so that it doesn't show in my final product. And so I'm gonna just stitch my string all the way around in this same pattern. Just It's just a very simple back and forth stitch. Not sure the technical name. Um, I don't think that really matters though. <laughs> We're just going back and forth, it's pretty um, self-explanatory. And then once I am completely done with my stitching, I embellish the whole thing. And this is my completed little mini album with um, a tassel and all. So here's my little tassel. It's got a red ribbon, some turquoise string, a little beaded string, some red string to tie it all together. It's got some wooden beads and some um, plastic beads in coordinating colors. And then it's got some letter beads that spell out Xmas Day. And then I've got a tassel on one of them and a little jingly bell on the other. And then this is what the little album looks like. So some, most of the pages have lots of embellishments on them. And then for some of the pages, I left a small space where I can put a um, small photo or some journaling. I did add those little pom-poms at the bottom. Here's the first two pages. On the left page, I can add a small photo at the top. This is a little gingerbread, little gingerbread house. Um, I left some space for photos on these two pages and I can even do some journaling on that Christmas tree. Here I can add a photo um, near the wreath or behind the um, Santa's um, toy bag. And then these are my next two pages. There my right page has a space for a photo. And that's it, this is the back page and I have a little space for some journaling. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun making this little album and I hope that you decide to try it out as well. Check out the link below. See you guys next time.